Okay. And or <laughs> off screen. <laughs> All I have is a galley in front of me. I guess that's because she's not on yet. I'm guessing that's true. We've got her, her photo. Uh -oh. Hi, Angela, I like your little puppy. What kind of dog is that? She is spot rotten. <laughs> she's <laughs> one of those teddy bear breeds. Um, Cause she looks so. like she looks like she has lopso lopso in her because I had a dog that looked a lot like her, but Shih Tzu. Her mama was a Shih Tzu and her daddy was a Yorkie. Yorkie. What's it called? Yorkie uh, No. Yoshi. A Yoshi. A Yoshi. A Yoshi. Okay. Yeah. Some yeah. people call them Shorkies. Yeah. But she's one know. of those expensive lap dog breeds. Yeah, okay. Sounds like an anime name. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I saw your she cat is. in the window. <laughs> You've got lots of pets. Oh, was that a cat in the no, window? No, that was, was the dog. dog. It was a dog in that the window. That was the dog. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hey, everybody. Hello. I heard you having a dog conversation. I saw a chorky yesterday. It was a chihuahua mm -hmm. and a yorkie. A chorky. It was five pounds oh my yeah coco weighs nine pounds that's I mean, all nine pounds oh my yeah she's almost five so she's not getting any bigger <laughs> wow but she's spoiled rotten yeah i have two that are spoiled rotten but one's uh 60 and 170 pounds so oh wow <sighs> wow my this have my my dog from Dallas, Texas, and one from Tennessee. So they're all adopted from. <laughs> That's cool. She is bald. She thinks she has to be on mommy twenty four seven, or if not mommy, then her my daughter. She she'll go to either her or me. That's awesome. And when I'm That's sitting special. at my desk, she's in the window right beside my desk. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. I have a miniature schnauzer. She's a, called a party schnauzer. The reason she's called a party schnauzer is because the coloration is different than the regular salt and pepper. But she's a good dog. Does she, she bark all the time when you knock on the door? Ours did when we had one. Well, they are known to be yappers, but this one does not. Praise the Lord. Wow. Yes, wow. I've had a yapper before when I was growing up, but this is the only dog we've had as an adult, and she's not, so thankfully. Hmm. Wish mine wouldn't. She <laughs> barks at the wind. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, it's 7.30, so we're going to go ahead and start chatting and see what happens. We're going to go through lap six tonight. So first of all, I just want to welcome everybody to the Fast Track Lap Six Night. And if you are on Facebook, if you could hit the share button, that would be awesome. We want people to know that we will walk you all the way through learning this lifestyle so that you can have success at it. If you're unable to watch these videos with us live, they will be recorded and on demand for you at any time. So whatever fits your schedule in whatever way you learn best, we are there for you. So right now, we're going to just kind of do a fun little, let's talk for three, three minutes because it I usually find it takes about three minutes for people to get on to the Zoom, find us on Facebook and all of that. So um, Angela introduced herself last night, but Angela... Do you want to tell everybody your good and awesome news? Sure. The um, I did my weights and measures this morning, getting ready to join Jason on the challenge next week. It'll be my first challenge. I've done a few wows by myself, but that'll be the first group thing. And I was so shocked. I was almost in tears, and I'll probably cry now. I have lost since going to the doctor on March 25th, I've lost 68.2 pounds. And I'm down a total of 34.2 inches combined. Wow. And they had more or less written me off 
and tell me, you know, other than weight loss surgery, they really didn't know anything that could help me. And I had begged and begged and begged for help. Dietitians, endocrinologists, whole nine yards. I had crossed the line into uh, type two diabetes. I am now considered, my numbers are back down in the normal range. And he said one more checkup and I would be considered permanently in remission. So when I talked to him on the phone today, so I'm just, I'm, I'm thrilled. <laughs> and I was nearly in tears because something finally worked. And I was just like, wow. My doctor had told me about this program and I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. all right. How much money is that going to cost me? You know, <laughs> But I would give it a try. And it's just like, it's melted off. And I'm just, I'm amazed, just absolutely amazed. And well, we're super excited for you. And what a great doctor to tell you about this, because, you know, a lot of times, have you ever heard stories of people? Thank you. Somebody on Facebook's telling you that's awesome. So thank you. she says, thank you. Um, so have you ever had heard people talk about going to the doctor and they say you need to lose weight to solve these problems, but they don't tell you how to lose weight. You know why? Because they don't really know either there they, there is not a lot of nutrition classes in in medical school you, you'd think but they're 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 really sick care you know they're sick care they're they're helping with emergencies and helping with things that happen to us that we can't really control like I'm a retired nurse so I'm the first one that can say I had no idea what to do yes, yes. I'm amazed that's really fast in three months you've lost 60 pounds I was shocked. I lost 50 pounds right at the first month alone. And I was expecting about 35 because that would have been about 10%, you know, which is what they said. But I took very few holidays, no freebies, no snacks, just mostly red column and yellow columns. And uh, my cardiologist had told me no MCT because I had blood pressure issues, which have resolved. So now I don't even need the blood pressure meds. That's another awesome thing. And, you know, coming off insulin, coming off blood pressure meds, the weight's coming off. I'm really psyched with this program. I really am. Good. Yeah. We're so I glad mean, to have you here. God has just been very bountiful. And mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm amazed. Good. We're so happy about that. Thank so you. again, on Facebook, please hit the share button for us. That would be awesome. And since it's 735, we're going to go ahead and get started. Do you, do you mind, Landra and Sherry, that y'all don't say anything to start? You're okay. I figured you would be. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. I'm going to share my screen with you. And I already have it set right up here on lap six, because by now, you know how to get to the dashboard and to fast track, right? Everybody know how to get there that I'm working with this week? Good. Okay. So the very first thing that we're going to do in lap six is we're going to look at an additional combination chart because the combination chart that was in lap one is a very basic combination chart because when you're starting something brand new, you don't need all of the options. You just need some options to help you get started and to have some success. But I felt like I was sort of advanced anyway. So I used this one from the beginning. Who else feels like they can handle the advanced combination chart? Okay, okay. I think we can all handle this. So let's have a look at this. So all this step is doing is just asking you to print this. If you do not have a printer, just save it somewhere. You could screenshot it. You want to have this where you have easy access to this. And we remember if from the... Um, class on Sunday night, this blue column is fast weight loss. Hey, Patty Bass. I just got back from a rescue, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay, I'm glad you're here, that's awesome, that's awesome. So this blue column is fast weight loss. The yellow column is faster weight loss. And the red column, you are blowtorch and fat like you'd blowtorch butter. That's what Angela did. <laughs> she just stuck with that and boom, it worked. So as we're looking through this, let's just remind ourselves of what this is. Category one, lean protein. Plus, it just means eating it with, I don't want anybody to think there's math or anything like that. You're eating it with a category two fibrous carb and an energy carb. 
So this, these numbers are not quantity. This is the category number and then the abbreviation for the category. So y'all go ahead and print this out because that's going to be important for you to really have more to enjoy. We call this blue column the lifestyle column because when you start Shibboleth, we have weight loss mode and maintenance mode. A lot of times in weight loss mode, people are wanting to stay over here in these two columns, these, this red and yellow column. But this blue column, that is really where you want to get to. You want to learn how to enjoy all the foods that you've enjoyed, but just in the right way so that we are controlling insulin. So we're just going to make ourselves aware of this. And I'm going to close that out and go back. But once you have printed or saved that chart, you come back and you click this box. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to read the black box to you because I think it's important. The search bar in the video library can be used to find videos on a specific topic. So we're going to search for videos titled Survival Kit, and then we're going to look for Hemp. Um, and these are going to generate videos on those two topics. Hey, Polly, I'm glad you're with us. If you heart these favorites, you can even heart videos. So if you think, oh, wait a minute, I might want to watch this video again in the future, heart it because then it goes into your favorite videos, okay? So we're going to click there. And do you see this search bar right there? We're going to type in survival kit. And so what happens is behind the scenes, any video that's about survival kits has been tagged with that data and so it just pulls it up and do you see right here where it says my favorites if you heart a video it'll be right here in the video library for you so let's go ahead and click right there and there you go there's one that jim just did on how i used a survival kit to lose weight um, this one is phase two restaurant survival kits etc and this one doesn't have it in, the, oh yeah, I was going to say it didn't have it in the title. It's the first thing. But anyway, it's right there, Survival Kit, what it is and what is its importance. Here's Survival Kit Talks by Jason. So anything about Survival Kits just pulled up. So if you're ever curious about a topic, all you have to do is go to the video library and see if you can pull that up on that topic. So let's search for hemp. And the reason I wanted to search for hemp is because Travis did a video last April that is awesome on hemp flakes and hemp hearts for a weight loss and wellness. And there's no way I could explain it like he does and such a great job. So it's this one right here. And people are always curious about hemp hearts and hemp flakes in the beginning. And so I always send them to this video. But any video that had hemp that we tagged it with hemp, you know, because there's even some videos in the We Fixed It library. Do y'all know what the We Fixed It library is? Not yet. Okay. The We Fixed It library is a video. It's a library of videos on how to make certain things. So if we click this We Fixed It, the hemp super protein shake, it's going to take me to a video and it's going to walk you through making this particular item. So obviously not everything in our video library or our food library has a video to go along with it. That would take forever. But here, somebody made a video on making a hemp super protein shake. So you can simply find that. I'm gonna click on this videos and print material here. I always go back to the silver page just to make sure that I'm not missing anything right here. If I click on, we fixed it. There is all sorts of videos in there. There's a breakfast casserole. Actually, this is me. These, these, these are me. So I, this. Thought, I thought this, we fix it was issues that were solved. So it's when you've cooked food then. Yeah, this is, we fixed the food. We fixed it. We fixed the recipe problem. That's what that is. Okay. Yeah. So when you click here, this breakfast casserole video is going to take you. That's me too. I made this pizza video. I actually made this one too, an easy way to shred boiled chicken. So it's pulling the video up and 
there I am. And you can tell it's Christmas time. And I was making a breakfast casserole for everybody. So, and my hair is even different, but y'all can watch those videos and that's in the video library. So that's how you just search for things in the video library. I'm going to click here and let it take me back to the video library because I want to show you that there's a couple of different views. Do you see right here? If I were to, let me, let me click on the original daily doses. This is after you finish fast track, after you're comfortable that you have, you understand how to work everything in fast track and all of that. This is, La that last task in lap seven is to come right here and watch these daily doses. But do you see how these are positioned here with thumbnails? If you were to click this, it would give you a different look. See how it gives you that look? So if you end up liking that look, but I didn't really like that look. So you can change the way your video library shows you the videos and then you could even have a list a video list and see how it is like that I don't I don't like that one but there's the ones I like the ones with the pictures and I like the ones by detail level but everybody has a different preference. And the reason we have some of the things that we have the way we do is because people have said, hey, can you do this? And then we just ask the developer and they put it in there. So we are trying to meet the needs of lots of different people. And as you can see, you can adjust that with these little tabs right here. So you can see the way that you like that, uh, your video library to show up. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to look at the restaurant guide. The Shibboleth lifestyle teaches nutrition for all situations. Eating in restaurants does not have to mean a holiday. When looking at the restaurant guide, locate the restaurants you frequent the most often. Read through the list of items listed and open several that you think you would enjoy. It's important that it is not assumed that you can eat the meal just as, the, just as it's listed on the menu. Ordering instructions will be available for each menu item listed. Reading this before you go to a restaurant can help you prepare a survival kit if you would like to take it with you to the restaurant. You might like to screenshot a few of your favorites to have them handy. So if you go to Chick-fil-A a lot, then you're going to want to have like how you order at Chick-fil-A until you get that new ordering like rolling off your tongue. If you go to Chili's or wherever it is that you go, kind of have a couple screenshotted just for ease of, con and of you finding them again when you're there. But let's familiarize ourselves with the restaurant guide. So when you come here, they're all listed out right here in order. So that's A and W. And then this just lists all Mexican restaurants. And then there's Applebee's and they're all listed. But if you come over here and look to the right, it's a, it's a little bit easier to kind of scroll through and see the list. Like if you wanted to go to Dairy Queen, there's Dairy Queen and you could click there. But otherwise, each rest, uh, restaurant, along with the items that are in their, their list that you can order, is listed as a full out list right here. But if you just want to like go straight to Dairy Queen, you can code, click on Dairy Queen. So obviously at any restaurant, you can have a category, um, a meat, you can have a meat and a vegetable. So that's what we would consider at home if we cooked it, you know, a category one and a fibrous carb or, but all, all meat at a restaurant just needs to be considered a fibrous carb. I mean, I mean, a protein plus fat. Protein plus fat. That's right. But we've just listed them out like one and two, four and two, because, you know, we get to thinking like that when we're at home and everything. But when we're at a restaurant, all meat is a protein plus fat. So when you're at a restaurant, the safest thing to do, typically, um, easiest thing would be a meat and a vegetable. There you go. But at Dairy Queen, let's see, grilled chicken sandwich. You can click there. And it says how to make it approved. This is a protein plus fat with a fibrous carb. Order it without the mayo and either have it without bread 
or replace their bread with your own category two bread. Now, obviously that is something that you would take in your survival kit because you would have either prepared yourself or you carry a survival kit with you anytime, all the time. Zero calorie condiments are preferred, but you may have up to 50 calories in approved condiments. Keeping in mind that adding a lot of calories in condiments may affect the weight loss meter. This is a category four plus two. To make the weight loss meter better, have it without bread or on a 50 calorie category two tortilla. So it's even saying that a tortilla, tortillas are better than bread for weight loss. So that's just another little suggestion there. So do you see how we kind of give you even, we give you a great option, but then we even give you better and better choices to teach you how to make these. This particular item is a negative one on the weight loss meter if you order it like that. Might as well stay home if you're gonna have to do all that. <laughs> well, so you know what, Sherry? If you have the opportunity to eat at home, I'd probably stay home. But if you find yourself out and about, this is when you have to pull out the persistence. You know, yeah. you, you've got the consistency going and everything, and then you end up somewhere with your friends or your family, and you're like, but wait a minute, I don't want to have a holiday. What am I going to do? You pull it up, and guess what you do? You order it the way that it's here, and when you leave there, you reach back, and you do this. You pat yourself mm -hmm. on the back, and then tomorrow morning, you're going to be like, yes, I did it. You may have wanted the Buster Bar while you were at Dairy Queen, but you're not <laughs> going to do that. And then the next day you're going to go, yay. <laughs> um, and then we've got this rotisserie style chicken bites. And then you would just read how to order it. So, you know, that's the way that you do restaurant ordering. Now I want to go to Zaxby's. Uh, let's see, Daniel on Facebook. Hey, Daniel, Daniel, you're Ken. I looked you up yesterday on Facebook and I couldn't find you as Daniel, I mean, I mean, as Ken, but I see that you're Daniel. He ordered from Zaxby's last night and ordered it like the app described. Cool. We're going to go over Zaxby's. So let's just look at Zaxby's. I don't know what he ordered, but I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do the grilled, the grilled chicken house salad. We're going to do that. It's a negative three on the weight loss meter, but when you're reading this, it can tell you it would be a negative three if you ordered it this way, and that would be your best for weight loss option. Or if you did this other thing, it would make it a negative two. See, the negative numbers come into play with what all is in that meal. You know what I'm saying? These negative numbers, this is like golf low score wins. <laughs> so you want to just kind of keep that in mind. For a negative three weight loss meter meal, order it without the fried onions, without the Texas toast, and without the cheese, and have it with zero calorie dressing. Adding up to 50 calories of approved dressing may change the weight loss meter to a negative two. So it's just letting you know you're adding some calories. It's changing how good this is for weight loss. But the bottom part says, or order it without the fried onions and Texas toast, but have it with the cheese and a zero calorie dressing for a negative one weight loss meal. So they're just giving you the option that if you do want the cheese, always remember to order without the fried onions and Texas toast. But if you have the cheese, you just have to be aware that it's not an improvement on the weight loss meter, but you can still do it. So what I love about this is, is that we're learning all of these little nuances of what we do. So I, that's what I call these little nuances. And we wanna be aware of how to eat situationally because we're not always gonna be in the optimum way or place to make our own food and everything. Well, I have a Cracker Barrel salad with grilled chicken sitting on the table waiting for me. I ordered it without croutons, but I wondered about the cheese, so. Yeah, yeah, it, it'll be okay. I would just, um, you just have to be aware, okay, if I really want it to be a very low weight loss meter meal, just don't order it with that, but these are the, the choice chances, choices that we make. Okay, now we're going to have a look at WOW Challenges. WOW challenges are, stand, WOW stands for war on weakness. And why is my phone ringing? 
stands for war on weakness. Wow challenges are weird and wacky challenges where you determine in your heart and in your mind that you are going to meet that challenge for the day. Wow challenges are one day challenges, but they can be done multiple days in a row. Wow challenges are great to practice exercising your self-discipline muscle to use after a holiday or for a perceived plateau breaker. They are designed to help you lose up to one pound in a day. You earn a badge for your first WOW challenge and the number increases on that badge for each WOW challenge that you attempt and complete. Pick some favorites by harding. Again, we're harding things, right? Harding a specific WOW challenge. So the task in this, when you go and do this on your own, the task is look through the WOW challenges, find a few that you find interesting and heart them. And then then when you, when you hit a wall, need to regain focus or to challenge yourself, you can choose those. So we're going to click there. Let's see, Stephanie on Facebook, can you tell me the difference in the memberships? I was silver. I turned tiger eye, but I haven't started yet. Tiger eye is, I don't know which membership did you get, 59 or 99, Stephanie? Because if you got the 99 one, it is a lifetime membership. If you got the 59 one, it was a two-year membership, but the Tiger Eye gives you advanced nutritional topics and you get access, lots and lots of access to Travis. Hope that helps, Stephanie. Okay, so now I'm in the WOW challenges and I already have some favorites. See right here where my favorites are? So I can click right there on my favorites and we'll be at my personal favorites. Yes, Stephanie, if you got lifetime, that means you've got advanced topics. But where I want you to start, Stephanie, is fast track. Put blinders on and do not get distracted by anything in silver, gold, or tiger's eye. Just focus on fast track until you get that down. And then you can move forward if you want to. All right, so I have my favorites. And look, you can even click on your history. What did you complete previously? Let me just look at that. So these are all the ones I have completed before. And it tells you what date I completed them on. But let's go back to the, the, my favorites. So my favorites here. I like the Beverly Ump for a Beverly Hills body. I like that one. Um, so what you do with a WOW challenge is awesome, Stephanie. Thank you. What you do with a WOW challenge is you read this. Now, this is very specific about WOW challenges. You cannot add or change anything in a WOW challenge. If you don't like anything that's in a WOW challenge or don't like the way that it's written, you can't just go and change it. You just need to choose a different WOW challenge because they're written to serve a purpose and Travis has done them very specifically. So if you don't like the way it's written, just don't do it. Okay, so this particular WOW challenge is saying there's five different options there for the way that you can make your Beverly Ump shake. So you could have the one scoop of Beverly Ump in Egg Whites International or eight ounces of Kroger Carb Master Milk. Or you could do two scoop, scoops of Beverly Ump in 16 ounces of water or one scoop of Beverly Ump with one serving of bio coffee. And you could use some water based on what consistency you like. One scoop of Beverly Ump with one serving of Coco Ringa. I do this one a lot. Use amount of water based on desired consistency. You could do one scoop of Beverly with one serving of HealthWise, that's what HW stands for. Anytime you see HW in the website, that stands for HealthWise. And that is a brand. That's a brand of food. HealthWise, high protein, hot chocolate. And again, you can put your water in there. I actually like to put a little bit of water in some ice. And when I put, when I do this one, number four, one scoop of Beverly Ump, I'll use the, the vanilla or the angel food cake and one serving of Cocoa Ringa. I put in a little bit of water and then ice and it tastes like a Wendy's chocolate frosty to me. And I like to eat those during the summer. I'm a big time ump drinker during the summer because I put ice in there. Um, Daniel, I mean, Ken, HHF is hemp hearts, hemp flakes. So we've just combined it. So HH stands for hemp hearts and HF stands for hemp flakes. So, so I just kind of sit in the afternoons with my spoon. I put it in a Yeti cup 
So it keeps it really nice and cold. I'll go sit outside on my back deck and just slowly eat that thing. It is so good, so good. So we've got that. But then for this particular challenge, you would also do one of those options at lunch. And then at dinner, you could have grilled, Chick-fil-A grilled nuggets with a side salad and approved dressing, a Chick-fil-A grilled chicken nuggets with an approved tortilla, or you could have category one lean protein with a category two fibrous carb vegetable. And you see how it says vegetable there? So that doesn't mean any fibrous carb. That means a fibrous carb vegetable. Or you could have category seven shellfish with a category two fibrous carb vegetable. On a wow challenge, typically no snacks are allowed because we are having a war on weakness. We are, this is, I always said I'm practicing my self-discipline when I'm doing a wow challenge. So make sure that you don't, you don't accept it if you aren't going to do it because it will give you a diet devil if you don't complete it. Now, if you get, yeah, if you get a diet devil by not completing a wow challenge, that diet devil will go away the next time you complete a wow challenge. So there is a way to make that diet devil go away. But if you get a diet devil by having more than your allowed number of holidays in a month, that one doesn't go away. But if you don't hit, if you don't complete your wow challenge, the next time you complete one, that previous diet devil will go away. Obviously there's no freebies there. Beverages, usually any zero calorie beverage is allowed, but we always want to make sure we get our water in and then condiments that they just list out what the best condiments would be for that. No exercise is necessarily required. You can continue doing your supplements and there's even some additional ones and then it would list out any special instructions and it says, please submit to a 16 hour fasting period when, when you consume nothing with calories. So, you know, that can be used overnight, your sleeping time. You'll have an eight hour eating window to consume the above meals. Your dinner portion should fit on a six to eight inch plate using your two hand rule. Okay, so that's what that wow challenge is. And here's... Um, let me see which other one I've done recently. So there was a couple that were written for me. This one, Kim's Egg White Grill. So this one is breakfast, a Chick-fil-A Egg White Grill. And then it gives you this very specific information on their bread. It's a zero on the weight loss meter. On category two bread, now, which would indicate to you, you would need to have taken their survival kit, right? Because, you know, they don't have their category two there. Um, it's a negative one on the weight loss meter. But if you have it on a 50 calorie tortilla, it'd be a negative two on the weight loss meter. And if you were to remove the cheese, it would improve the weight loss meter by one. So again, we're just giving you the nuances of how to improve a, a meal. And then you would skip lunch. It says eat air and smile because you get Chick-fil-A again for dinner. <laughs> Um, so you would do eight to 12 grilled chicken nuggets with a side salad, use only approved salad dressing and do not use sweet dipping sauces for the chicken. And then obviously it's about the same stuff on the bottom part, but he created that one for me because I like the egg, the chicken, the Chick-fil-A egg white grill. And when I would do this, this is how I would do this one. As, as late as possible, I would go by and get this egg white grill. And then probably eat this as early as possible because I don't like to eat air. So I would still make that work, <laughs> but, um, but nobody has to eat air. I can still make that one work. We like to eat on Tabolith. We don't really like to eat air. Let's check out Halo Top. <laughs> you want to look that one? Okay, Halo Top. Somebody hollered at Halo Top. Let's look at this. Okay, you have an approved shake or approved bar for breakfast. It can be any one that you want that's approved, but it should not exceed 250 calories. For lunch, you can have up to 250 calories of your favorite flavor of Halo Top. And for dinner, you get another 250 calories of your favorite flavor of Halo Top. Now, what this means to you is, if you're having an ice cream craving, choose this WOW Challenge. Stick to it, get some. And then you get a badge and it increases. So you can see how these are designed to help you lose a pound in a day. 
because <coughs> it's, it's kind of like it's wild and wacky. But when you go to the WOW challenges in general, they're right here in this orange tab, wall, wall breakers and challenges right here, WOW challenge meal plans. And there's a video right here. And this video is me showing you how to complete it, how to accept it, how to complete it. Because it's very important that you know how to complete it. A lot of people ask this question when they're completing a wow challenge. They're like, can I go ahead and complete it on the same day that I, that I know I've finished it? Or do I have to wait till the next day? You can complete it that day. So if you know I've had my last bit, I'm going to go in there and complete that. It's in your journal. You would complete it in your journal because your journal would show that. So um, you just complete it there. But they do send you a reminder the next day if you didn't. So you would go to challenges in your journal tab. If you're looking at the old view, remember how we looked at old view versus new view the other day? Old view, you just keep scrolling. Everything's on one page. But new view has tabs and one of them is challenges and it would be there. But if you're looking at the old view, just keep scrolling until you see challenges and it would say uncompleted. Well, yeah, it's uncompleted. You click it and then you complete. Yes, you did it. So that I can't show you because I haven't got one ready, but you can always watch this video right here to see how to do that. So those wow challenges are just kind of fun. Another, another reason that people use wow challenges is because if they don't want to come up with their own meal plan, they don't want to figure out what they uh, need to eat. These, these are just very basic, simple meal plans that can be kind of silly and fun. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is awesome. We are going to create a personalized meal plan using the meal plan generator. So this amazing tool will help you see many options for a personalized meal plan. Click a start date, choose the type of meal ideas you would like to see, then click generate. Three breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and freebie ideas will be generated. For each item you are not interested in eating, uncheck the box. Once you have read through each item, scroll back to the top and click generate new. For the unchecked ideas, a new idea will be generated. Continue this process until you have a meal plan that you like. So we're going to click there. And this is where we can choose a date. I'm just going to let that date stay there, but I could open up that calendar and I could choose another date. Coach mode meals only. Coach mode meals are very simple meals. They are also highly calorie controlled. So if you're wanting to do that, you could click that box. I'm not going to click it right now because it wouldn't give us as much variety and options, but you could click that. And I'm also going to show you in the food library where to find Coach Mode Meals too. So right here where it says type in this drop down menu, it says simple, based on recipes, or mixed. So if you just want super simple stuff, you can just click that. If you want everything to be based on cooking a recipe, you can do that. Or if you would accept it to be mixed, you can do that. I'm going to click mixed. So I'm going to click generate. And now what I do is I read these breakfasts. Okay, Dannon, Oikos triple zero Greek yogurt with two tablespoons of bare naked original granola. Anybody like that? Okay, so we got some people that would and some people that wouldn't. All right, I'm going to take it off I personally don't eat yogurt, so I'm going to take it off. See, I'm going to uncheck that, okay? So it knows when I hit generate, it knows to put in a new idea for me there. Okay, we've got the Quaker weight control oatmeal. It's not called weight control oatmeal anymore. It's called fiber and protein oatmeal, but it's the Quaker one with Carb Master milk. Use Kroger Carb Master to cook your oatmeal in or have a glass of Kroger Carb Master milk with it. The reason that this works is this particular oatmeal is a two and three together because it's now called fiber and protein. You are basically adding a glass, eight ounces of Kroger Carb Master. Now you have a perfect combination. You may also use fat-free Fairlife milk instead of Kroger Carb Master. I'm gonna leave that one on there. These two right here, this is making your grocery list too. 
because this will be printable in the end and you could go to the grocery store and you can click this. I have people make these three hole punch them, put them in a binder and lay them on their, their kitchen counter. And then each day they're going through it. Now it's kind of the reason that we do three lunches, three of each one, because once you buy these things at the grocery store, you know, you typically need to use that food up, right? So you might do that a couple of times in a week and then, Sometimes people want to have a holiday. So that's why it's three, three, and three. But really, I just like to use this to get me ideas. It may not be what I actually do for the week, but it can give me lots of great ideas. So there's a turkey spam sandwich. Two ounces of turkey spam with two slices of category two bread. Man, you can add fat-free cheese if you desire. So if you like turkey spam, you could do that. I want to talk about turkey spam real quick. You know, Travis Martin didn't wake up one morning and go, oh, let me put turkey spam on my lifestyle. You know, he really wants us to eat a lot of uh, whole foods and things like that. But the reason that turkey spam and other things like that are in the lifestyle is because we do not discriminate against food. We look at the item. If it happens to meet our qualifications for, you know, the fat ratio to protein ratio and all of that, then we'll put it in here. Because you know what? This lifestyle is for everybody, no matter your budget or anything. So I know that previously I felt kind of forced down avenues that I didn't want to go. Maybe I am not that clean eater person. Maybe I am not, you know, let me buy all genetically, non-genetically modified organic stuff. And I felt like I was being pressured to go down that. And I didn't, I didn't like all of that. I like simple. So we have everything in here. If you are a clean eating person, then you follow the guidelines with Shibboleth and you buy that quality of food. Y'all see what I'm saying? It really just depends on the quality of food that you buy. So if you don't like turkey spam, don't take it away for other people. Other people might like turkey spam. They might want to eat it and that might be their budget. Okay, and so it's just giving you a suggestion of Sara Lee 45 calorie, but you could eat any category two bread. So we'll just leave that there because I don't want to have too many for it to generate, but real good poppers. So that is just a high protein item. Um, and look, if you don't know what real good poppers are, I can click right there. It'll take me to the food library and then I can see, oh, those real good poppers actually look pretty good. Okay, I could have those as a snack. I could have those as a meal replacement. And these are a phase two frozen meal. Now, have you heard phase one and phase two yet? Kind of heard us mention those. Okay, what that means is phase one is the best high quality food. There's my dog. Phase two is us opening up the inner aisles of the grocery store. So like to boxed cereals that might not be the best, but still will meet the qualifications or soups that will meet the qualifications or frozen meals that would meet the qualifications. So phase two doesn't mean that you've moved up to a higher quality of food. It just means that we've got a lot more variety available in the grocery store and we've just looked at it all. Do you know what phase two does? Phase two makes this a sustainable, practical lifestyle because we will tell you everything in the grocery store that works. You then choose to use it in the proper way. So I love that these are linked. That way they go directly back to the food library and you can see what they look like. So I'm going to leave that one there. And then this one gives me a veggie Parmesan pasta. So I can just kind of read through that and see if I wanted to make that. And if I do want to make that, I'll leave it checked. And then there's a Wendy's taco salad. So it's just giving you a suggestion that you could go to Wendy's and get a taco salad. I'm going to uncheck that one just so it'll give me something to generate at lunch. And then for dinner, we can eat superfoods by themselves. This is suggesting a pinto beans. Oh, sorry. We can't eat pintos by themselves, but this is actually giving you a crock pot pinto beans recipe made with pinto beans, Canadian bacon, chicken stock. So something super simple. So if you wanted to try that recipe, you could do that. Here's beef and cheese cauliflower nachos. Well, Patty Bass knows I don't like to cook, so I'm not going to do that one. I'm just... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just taking one off in the in the dinner category. And then scallops in any category two vegetable. So we'll leave that there. And then it gives us some snacks, a chocolate mug cake. And this is a snack that you would cook. This is not just a snack that you would purchase. This is a snack that you could make. We'll leave that there. It looks good. I don't mind cooking sweet stuff. Um, <laughs> chocolate mug cake with almond flour. So there's another type. Well, since we've already got another chocolate mug cake in there, I'm going to uncheck that one. And then Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt, any flavor. One container as a snack or two to three containers as a meal replacement. I'm going to uncheck that since I don't eat yogurt and we'll get it to do that. And then it just gives us some freebie ideas. Yellow squash, spinach chips, sugar-free jello. And I'm just going to leave those there for time's sake. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And do you see this blue button? Generate new items. So I'm going to click generate new items. When I come through my list again, okay. So in the breakfast item, it gave me a Quest cookie. Well, if I wanna eat a Quest cookie with or without an eight ounces of Kroger Carb Master Milk, I can do that as a meal. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one. I like that. In the lunches, it gave me a deli turkey wrap. I make those all the time. So that's good, I'll leave that there. And then down in the dinners, Let's see, it gave me hamburger steak with broccoli. Yeah, I'm more likely to make that though. So we will keep that one in there. And then in the snacks, it, it gave me handful of unsalted sunflower seeds and buffalo chicken dip, which I've made by the way, and it is delicious. So I like this one now, that one looks good. So I'm gonna scroll back to the top and I'm gonna hit confirm, that green confirm button. And now basically it has added it to my meal list. If I click print, I can then print it out and do whatever I want to with it. I can take it to the grocery store and check off the boxes as I purchase things, or maybe go on to my own pantry and say, I have that, I have that. What do I need to get? Um, awesome, Ken, thank you. Ken is saying this food library program is genius. Awesome, good, I know that you'll love it. And thank you for sharing. I see that you're a top sharer. Thank you very much. So you can print that from there, take it to the grocery store, three hole punch it. And you can see why making these meal plans would be a great idea because then what you would do is you just have your future meal plans. Go back to the things that you like. So just to kind of show you something, I'm gonna go back to the original list. This is where you would create your list, you know, with this generate. But this is where you would find previous ones. Do you see how those are all the other ones I've made before? So like I can go and click on this one and this would give me a previous meal plan that I made. So if I really love so the approved French toast, love it, it's delicious. So I could go back to these other meal plans. So this is a great way for you to see some meals that you can eat in the very beginning. And while we're talking about this, I'm gonna go to the food library and show you the coach mode meals, where to find coach mode meals. I'm going to scroll to the bottom because I know it's down there. It's right here in this list on the right hand side. Or it's right here. So either one, it links it to coach mode meals. So let's click on that. And this is just showing you, you could eat one cup of Pintos. Now remember I said they're super simple and they are very highly um, calorie controlled. You could have one handful of almonds, macadamia, macadamia nuts, or pumpkin seeds as a meal. So you can see these are super simple. Now I do this one a lot, a third of a hemp bar as a meal. I do that all the time. Now, Patty, Patty might have a little story for y'all about hemp bars. Go right ahead, Patty. Just, I can't do them because they trigger me. <laughs> I, I just can't do him bars <laughs> patty patty how much weight have you lost 68 pounds 68 pounds <laughs> in how long patty since october october yeah. Yeah, so she's doing awesome. She's also helping lead people in her area to health and wellness through the Shibboleth lifestyle with her, her group called Patty's mm -hmm. Shibboleth Friends. If y'all wanted to join that, Patty's Shibboleth Friends, and she's really helpful. Listen, my doctor is so amazed 
because my, <clears throat> my A1C was getting on up there, they wanted to put me on metformin, then my um, cholesterol was all wacky, and three months on this plan, and I went and got blood work, and it was perfect. So my doctor sends people <laughs> to, to me. So it works. Just follow the plan, and it works. Yeah. It definitely works. Angela's doctor sent her to Shavola as well, Patty. So awesome. I'm just, yeah, I need to talk to doctors, don't I? I need to go find more yeah. doctors and tell them, hey, Janet, Janet, I didn't see you on there until I um, unshared the screen and it got bigger. So I'm glad that you're with us here tonight. What a cool area you're in. What a, Are you at the beach or something? Yeah, this is your home? This, this is yeah. our home. This is awesome. It's, it's a, um, yeah, I, I love the beach. So this is my home office. Oh, beautiful. I need you to come to my home office and decorate. Wow. <laughs> that is Thank gorgeous. That's that is so gorgeous. I have this brick wall behind me. I bought it off Amazon. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So while we're here tonight, what I want to use the, the remainder of the time for is Q&A. Now, if I'd had a little bit larger group, I was going to do like some breakout sessions and we might do that in the, in the future, Patty. Um, but yeah. right now we're going to do this tonight. So anything tonight that y'all are curious about? Let's do a Q&A. Landra? The 21 day challenge, where do I find that? You said to look at it before we did it. Before okay. We started. The 21 day challenge is amazing. It's one of my favorites. Let me see if I can find it quickly though. Okay, the 21 day challenge. I know it by heart now and I just, let's go to group challenges. That took me to Jason's group challenges. Where is that 21 day challenge? Okay. Sometimes Travis uses a, another little staging area before he puts things on the main website because it's very expensive to put things on the main website. And so it's, it's still in this little area here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I just put it in there. Landra, if you'll go ahead and click on that, it should open and in the chat, click on that and it should open up for you. And then I'm, I'm just not sure where, where am I supposed to click on your screen? Oh, in the chat, click on the chat where you, where you asked me where the 21 okay. day challenge is. All right. Okay. Now you'll see that link there. Okay. Click there. It should open up for you. All right. And Thank that's you. what you can go ahead and if you want to go ahead and hit the star that in favorite it and you can add it to your favorites that way you can find it easily again. Okay. So what's I, this is one of this is my absolute favorite challenge of all time. And this is Sherry Ditto's too. And she doesn't actually do it officially. She just has a lot of 21 day perfect days. So this challenge is you are eating off of a specific food list. So the goal is in this challenge is you pick 21 foods and those are the 21 foods. It's like you are going to an island, your own personal island, and you can only take 21 foods. So you pick 21 foods. So you want to think, you want to think about, I might want some lean protein and a fibrous carb, and I might want some meal replacements, but you're only picking them from this list. This list is for best results. So you pick the 21 foods and you're going to do this. For, you can eat it however you want to, but for seven days. And then if you want to switch up your list, you can switch up your list. You can switch up your list for another seven days. And then at the end of that seven days, if you wanted to switch up your list again, you could. It's just that for 21 days, you would be you know, committing to a seven day, 21 foods that you picked. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And you just pick from this. Now, right here, there's a video. So you would just go in here and watch these videos to get your orientation. Travis is going to give you an orientation through these. What I would do is just pick one because these are all the same. Um, it's just different dates that he's done the orientations on. Might even just pick that one. 
or you might need to watch too. I'm not sure why one's called orientation and all the others have dates on there, but just check that out. And then right there, that gives you some, some rules and everything. So these are just some worksheets that you could use, but I like, this is, this is the one that you're going to want to, to use. Let me see if this pulls up. It's opened up as a, a PDF. I'm not sure if my screen is prepared to share a PDF. Let's see. Yes, looks like it is. I hope. Okay, so this is a great worksheet. So what you would do is you'd pick your 21 foods that you wanna have for seven days right there. And then over here, what I did in the goals and notes section was as I was listening to Travis's orientation for this challenge, I wrote down things that, okay, make sure you get your water in. Uh, post your, uh, there's a 21 day, if you're on Facebook, there is a 21 day challenge support group as well. And you could uh, post your nightly, your nightly screenshots of your timing chart because you're going to see flames on your timing chart. And so you can post that each night and that would give you support. And sometimes we run these officially, but you can do this at any time. It does not have to be an official one. It could be like you determined you're going to do it. But any notes or goals you can write there. You could also like create some little meals over there if you wanted to. And then this gives you a little place to put up top you know, your weight and then the results and that type of thing. So that gets a nice little worksheet there. So that's a great question, Landra. Thank you for asking that because that is my favorite challenge of all time. Oops. Okay. Any other questions? I, I was, um, you know, the 99 cent app that you can put on your phone. Yeah. I can't find the dashboard on that. So there's no dashboard on that. So the app is, um, yeah, that's see. what it, oh, wait, you can find that, right? See what, she, um, what Patty, you can see that, right? Right. Okay. But are you saying like dashboard, fast track, blah, blah, blah? Yeah. Okay. You can't get that on the app. It's not on there. Oh. Okay. So the, because apps are extremely expensive, extremely expensive to maintain. So the only things that are on the apps are journal, because people quick and easy want a journal, the food library, because you're going to end up in the grocery store at some point and want to look something up. There's the restaurant guide on there, the recipe, all those things that you might need when you're just out and about. And they have just recently added the timing chart on there. So that was just recently added. So the rest of all of the awesomeness is okay. on the website. Okay, because I was thinking it was all one. And then I realized, no, the website is the website and the app is the app. There's two, yeah. so there you can't get everything. So Yeah, the app is really for convenience and things okay. like that. But what I have done on my phone is all the places that I find that I go to regularly on my phone, I have saved them as favorites. So this is my Shibboleth folder. And so that's my profile. That's my sharing link. That's my video library because I listen to these in the car. And that's my food library. And that's my recipe library. So I saved each individual thing as a as an um, icon on my home screen. And then I pulled them all together in a folder that I called Shibboleth. So it sort of makes it easier. So if I just wanted to go here and click on food library, it's going to take me directly to the food library I don't have extra I don't have extra clicks hmm. so so what I do is how, I, how did you do that can you tell us how you did it yes yes so um now I have an iPhone if you have an Android it'll be slightly different but I'm gonna do iPhone first so when you go to your browser go to myshabolith.com and, and look it up and then go ahead and log in you want to go ahead and be logged in and then I like for my profile to pull up. Okay, let me just give you this one tip before I continue this. You do not want to save your journal like this because if you save your journal like this, it saves it to the date on which you saved it to the home screen because just the phone thinks that you're wanting to save that day. It's not a Shibola thing. It's a, hey, they were, save, they were saving this thing. Okay, so... You're going to go to the area that you want to do. So I like for my profile to pull up. 
You know why I like my profile to pull up? Because this chart, my weight loss chart, makes me feel good when I see it. <laughs> and so that's what I have. Plus then I just know I, I go there and then I go off to my journal. Okay, so if you're there, do you see that button at the bottom that's got a square with an arrow coming out of it? Mm -hmm. Y'all see that on your phone? You click that. My phone is getting old and it's taking a long time. So you click that and then you scroll up until you see, do you see right there? It says add to home screen. Mm -hmm. Do you see that Janet? Um, you know, I'm struggling to get in. I have typed my name in to, I feel like I have been like the, it's so weird because I'm like kind of a firstborn high achiever, but this week I feel like I might be at the bottom of your class. No, <laughs> I feel like, I the, I feel like the same thing. I really, I feel like, I feel like I've got a water, like the water hydrant, you know, is like yeah. been taken off, which yeah. I heard him say that. I heard Travis say that, but um, it's funny because the good thing is when you said, we can do this again. It'll be okay. You know, yeah. that yeah. really gave me a lot of comfort. I'm like, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, oh, I can yeah. do it again. And I yeah. am going to do it again. Next Good. week, I'm going to look like one of your new people because apparently I can't spell my last name tonight. <laughs> That's the problem that I'm having. I put an M instead of an N. Oh, well, our fingers do hit buttons the wrong way. Okay. So, sorry. So, that's how you save something to your home screen. Now, once you get something, does anybody have an Android? I do. Okay, if you have an Android, once you pull that up, in the top right-hand corner, there should be three dots. You click on the three dots, and it should give you the option to add it to your home screen. If you don't see that, Google how to add something to a home screen on an Android, <laughs> and then read it, and it'll show you. But I do that for a lot of people with Androids at the, the shop when they're like, how do I do what you did? And it's those three dots at the top. Yeah. But do y'all know how to move something together to make it? Um, so, for example, I've got this one right here. I'm going to press on that. I'm going ed to click Edit Home Screen. And I'm going to pull this over and I'm going to put this in my Shibboleth folder. And so I just moved something over to my folder. So I just have Shibboleth all in one folder. And then you can rename the folder on your phone. So that's how I quickly go to all those things. Um, For some reason, I'm having trouble when I log in on my phone. It it goes and says, I have to, it won't save my password. I have to put it in every time. So oh, it takes up time. Too. You too? That's, weird. that's the problem you're having, Janet? Yes. That's, yes. And that's what I feel like everything I want to do software wise, I'm some dummy this week. It just isn't working. Yeah. And, and it's frustrating. I know that's frustrating. I'm wondering. So we have now, Janet, do you have an iPhone? Yeah. I do. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to write this down just to ask in our support group if we have any. Okay, so neither one of you are able to get it to save your password. Yeah, I have an Android and, and I put in my put it in and then it asks every time I try to save it. I can't even remember what it says now when I try to save mm -hmm. it. it. My Android won't let me do it either, Kim. Now, I have saved them on some Androids at the shop. So what I would do is, let me see. So when you would go to the browser, go to the browser and log in. Can you, can you get to the browser and log in to the Shibboleth account? If you remember your username and password, can you at least get there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. When you're there, when you're there, Janet, are you there now? Mm -hmm. Do, click that square for me with the arrow coming out of it at the bottom. Square. You might, it, it's, a, it, it's a phone thing. It's a phone thing, not a Shibboleth thing. So when oh, you're, oh, like go to my phone? 
Well, no, like have this, have this up. Okay, have this up, but do this. Drag your finger down just a smidge. A little bar is gonna come up at the bottom. <laughs> what? Um, Janet, where do you live? Louisiana. Oh, don't and too I far. know that it, I'm making all the Louisianans look really dumb. No, no, I was I was saying you were too far to come to me in person tomorrow. But anyway, so when you're on your iPhone, if you're in the browser, show me. Okay, am I in the right place? You you are lifted up a little bit. Are you logged in? Yes, you are. Okay, you're logged in. So lift up your phone just a little bit. Okay, drag your finger down on your screen just a smidge what happened at the bottom of your phone just then a little white area should have popped up yeah you see that square with the arrow pointing out of it yes click it uh, it looked like a house <laughs> okay now no i bunch your tabs well, that, that, looks, that looks different than what I normally see, but uh, there should, when I click mine, when I click mine right there, it comes up like this. Huh. And then when I scroll up, I click add to home screen. So what I have a feeling, I have a feeling that, that when y'all get logged in and then the Android users, if y'all can kind of Google how to add it, if you're not seeing it, because the three top buttons is what I do when I have people's phones in the store. Click there. And once you've saved it to your home screen, typically it saves with the settings that you had in. So if you saved it while you're logged in, it typically saves it that way. So y'all keep giving that a shot and try to get it to save. That way it's just real easy for you to get in there. Landra, you want to unmute? Yeah. Quiet. Apparently, I never logged out last time. That's why I'm still logged in. So is there any disadvantage to just leaving it logged in? I would leave it logged in. I would leave it logged in. OK. Only because it makes it easier for you to just, boom, get in there. If you, I know, I know if anybody ever has to take extra steps to make something happen, they typically don't go to it as frequently. So yeah. that's why, yes, I want y'all to have these things saved on your phone. So you might have to do a little research or go to the local Apple store or something and say, hey, or the Android store and say, I want this on here, make this happen. But I usually find all that out by Google. And somebody will have a YouTube video for you to watch and show you how to make that happen. But I just save them to my home screen. Well, y'all, it is 834. If you have been, oh, okay. Ken is saying on an Android that you click on remember me. Hmm. So maybe that would help the Android users. So if you have found us on Facebook tonight and you were wondering what it is that you're watching, please know that we are teaching the secrets of weight loss and wellness. We do have a special offer for you. If you want to join right now, we have a two year membership for $59. This is a tiger's eye level. You get all the levels. And then on, oh, Ken is saying, remember me on the, when you log in for y'all to click, remember me for it to save your passwords. So, okay, sorry, I was in the middle of offering the special and I found a squirrel. You'll get to experience real people, real people <laughs> living life. So, but if you also want to join right now with a lifetime membership, it's $99. Get that for a lot, $99 for a lifetime of continuous education. I even help you with your phones not just your weight loss. Um, so you would go to www.shibolithdeals.com. Shibolithdeals.com. If you choose to do that and you found out about us from a friend, please put that friend's name in the box where someone, where it asks who referred you. 
If you are a Shibboleth member and you would like to watch Travis's video right now, go to the pink online webinars tab, register there, then go in through Zoom so you get credit for participating in your live webinars. If you're on Facebook, please head over to Travis Martin's Weight Loss Ministry. And when you get there, share, share, share. Thank you all. We've got tomorrow night, we got one lap left and we'll do another Q&A. And then, but y'all, seriously, come back as often as you need to because you okay. learn new things. Patty's learned new things tonight. And all of us learn new things. <laughs> yes. And and she she is amazing. And then she'll go and she teaches it to others, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all have a great Friday night. Thank you for spending it with me. And we will see you tomorrow night at 7:30. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Y'all have a perfect day tomorrow. For real. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.